Napiszcie coś w czacie. Dwa, trzy, raz, dwa, trzy. Dobry wieczór Państwu. Czy dobrze mnie słyszycie? Powiedzcie mi. Czy w ogóle mnie słyszycie? Dzień dobry. Czy dobrze mnie słyszycie? Powiedzcie. Świetnie. Bardzo się cieszę. Cały czas jakieś problemy techniczne nam przeszkadzają, ale tym razem chyba się wszystko uda. Jan mówi, że mnie słychać, Monika, Łukasz, Ewelina, Ania, Ola i wszyscy na Facebooku, na portalu MM Publications. No dobra, to ja w takim razie wyciszam komórkę, żeby nam nikt nie przeszkadzał. Biorę sobie kawę. I zaczynamy. Proszę Państwa, dzisiaj z, po raz pierwszy MM Publications ma swój webinar, swoje webinarium w języku angielskim. Postanowiliśmy coś w tym roku zmienić i tym razem będzie odrobinkę o myśleniu krytycznym, ale po angielsku. So, let's switch into English. I hope Uh, people on uh, Facebook are watching us. Let me check that. Let me check that. Yes. Let's let's start with uh, critical thinking and portal to English. So my name is Martin uh, Marcin Stanowski, uh, and I'm a teacher of English. I'm also a um, consultant for MM Publications, and I've got this great privilege to talk to you today about critical thinking. And critical thinking is my great passion for the last three or even four years. And uh, today, for the first time, we've got MM Publications Poland webinar in English. So far, all the 
uh, webinars were in Polish, uh, but now we are changing something and um, we hope you like it. So if you're on um, Facebook, please share it to others who are interested. Uh, and today I'll try to uh, show you some critical thinking activities um, which are present in Portal to English, but also um, in... Um, I will try to show you that actually these uh, critical thinking activities you could also uh, do uh, in your class uh, with with a well, almost no preparation. Um, I would like to um, invite you also to um, ITEFL uh, Poland uh, conference. Uh, which this year will take place in Gdańsk. Um, and um, at this conference, um, I will represent MM Publications uh, Polska, and I will talk about the critical age for people, uh, which means I will talk about tweens. I will talk about the special um, moment in life when children stop being children, but they are not yet fully developed uh, developed um, teenagers, not even adults. So I will talk about um, this critical uh, moment in their life, and I will try to um, show you why we should focus uh, our effort um, as far as English is concerned and as far as uh, critical thinking is concerned on this very period of tweendom. Okay, so I'm encouraging you to, to come to my session uh, on tweendom uh, in Gdańsk on the 21st uh, September in uh, Gdańsk uh, at uh, IETFL uh, Poland conference. But uh, right now, let's start with uh, some basics. As you know, critical thinking is one of the key competencies um, as quite um, often it's repeated uh, recently. Uh, we think that those competencies which were kind of set up by by European Council uh, which were kind of um, put together uh, as obligatory for teachers and for students we should kind of implement them in um, our teaching so we kind of produce maybe we, we produce the wrong word we kind of uh, cater for uh, development of a good professional, good student, good person who is prepared for the 21st century. Uh, one of those key competencies is critical thinking. And critical thinking is a mixture of many, many skills. Um, for example, reasoning, questioning, exploring similarities and differences contradicting, very important, asking questions, um, differ differentiating between opinions and facts, and also voicing your opinions based on facts, which is uh, especially important at uh, the time when we fight with uh, fake news and hate speech. Also, critical thinking is present in solving uh, dilemmas and evaluating information, also evaluating uh, a person, yourself. But you also practice uh, critical thinking if you encourage your students to experiment or explore sources of information. Um, with uh, having said that, I want to uh, show you some of the activities uh, which are in a new 
brand new um, series by MM Publications, which is Portal to English and which is directed at tweens, at uh, young people, teenagers. And uh, with no further, further ado, I want to show you the first page of the first um, course book in this in this uh, in this course, which is this is me. Practically every course starts with uh, describing uh, a person, uh, the, the appearance, but also um, the characteristics, the the personality, and I want to focus your attention on something which is very often present in English language course books at the first page of many 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 course books you see some expectations that a student might have what this topic will be um, in the in a in a book but also uh, what skills and what things will be practiced in the uh, in the unit so these are simply objectives and they are clearly presented uh, in a kind of easy uh, language so uh, a person starting uh, learning is also able to to uh, understand understand it and why it is important because do if we know the map of our learning we simply are more motivated to do that but of course uh, that's not um, everything uh, we must kind of put our learning in one unit into a frame so we need to get back to those objectives at the end of the course book where we've got now I I can section which is in a right bottom corner and here students should tick off all those things that they have learned I know that it's um, very popular uh, layout in many course books but not many teachers use it and I think it's one of the most important uh, things that we can um, um, in, in which you can you know, foster students' um, autonomy, self-evaluation. In this way, they simply track their progress and they, uh, being aware, think about what they have learned and um, what will be their next uh, goals. So if we uh, think about the critical thinking uh, activities, uh, we probably um, see that this is uh, one of the skills which is called evaluating, evaluating yourself. Um, then, a next thing that I want to talk about is, uh, these are clear pages. And of course, you would expect that uh, while doing um, content um, and language integrated learning, you are also fostering critical thinking because you experiment, because you um, prepare projects, because you learn about mathematics, about sciences, about STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, because we analyze data, because we ask uh, high order uh, questions. So, uh, yeah, of course, an important to English uh, includes such uh, such clear pages, and it's not a well surprising for a for a book in the twenty first century. Um, but even more important is something that we've got in a workbook, which is think it through activities, and those think it through activities which are at the back of the course book are simply a gem. I was long looking for a course book 
which would be so packed with critical thinking activities. Obviously, um, you can find uh, in a student's book so many um, points where students are encouraged to uh, think critically. I'll show you one of them. For example, um, when students meet the, the, the course book, they see uh, very often the stories, the cartoons. And let me show you this very cartoon, Getting Ready for Summer Camp, where Lily is talking to Mum. And of course, Lily is preparing for the summer camp, and Mum lets her pack her own uh, suitcase. But of course, from time to time, is checking um, what uh, Lily is uh, packing in it. And of course, this is kind of funny because we learn that she's got a lot, a lot of things to uh, to um, to wear, a lot of things to put into the suitcase. But then uh, we, uh, at, after after we uh, finish with the story, we see an over to you section, which is always after a story, after the cartoons. Um, which is about discussing, which is a simply a question to a student. Do you think Lily needs all the clothes she took with her? And here, there's, there's no like um, explicitly given answer in the story. So a student has to think deeper, analyze everything, analyze all the uh, information which is in the story. And I will tell you only the answer is, not. She doesn't need that many clothes because she's going there only for a few days. Okay? So this is like a very practical way how uh, students can confront reality with their thinking and analytical skills. Uh, in some other uh, moment, in some other, at some other page, uh, you've got another over to you um, point in a section um, about um, food, about meals, we've got some uh, further questions to students. And now, um, don't we do that? And if we don't, we should. Imagine you've got a text, whatever text in your, in your course book. Uh, of course, we've got some um, true or false or comprehension questions. But shouldn't we like expand a bit and ask some questions that uh, dig deeper, that um, explore some deeper understanding? So if we have a reading about culture or about uh, some uh, environment phenomena, why don't we ask students later on and um, what do you think about this? How do you find this information? Is it based on facts or are these opinions? Or maybe uh, does the problem uh, explained in the, in, the, in the story, in the article, in the, in the text uh, affect you in, somehow, in some way? Okay, so this over to you. Um, I'm sure uh, many of us uh, do after some um, reading or uh, listening uh, comprehension. But here in Portugal to English, after each story, you've got such a such a point where students simply are encouraged to um, to dig deeper to answer some uh, more uh, analytical questions. Uh, such questions we are which are um, of high order or higher order thinking skills. So they need to evaluate something. They need to analyze something, not only understand and remember. Because, like you remember, but in, in this in this um, um, reading comprehension, we basically check understanding, or remembering short term memory, some facts. 
but what we should do, we should go one way, one step further and um, get to those high order thinking skills. Of course, for those who don't know it, it's a Bloom's taxonomy uh, of, uh, of um, learning skills. So uh, that's what we should uh, strive for. And this is what is in, in Portal to English um, course books. Um, if we uh, talk about um, CLIL, if we talk about um, Think It Through section, we've got also one more important um, element of uh, Portal to English, which is culture page. And in the culture page, this is uh, the moment to compare and contrast, uh, analyze the source of data, maybe uh, look for some more information about some other um, similar um, areas. Here at, uh, at the screen, we've got the culture page, which is uh, about flags of English speaking countries. And we may want to ask students to prepare a poster, a presentation, or maybe uh, even uh, some, some video about those countries, which requires uh, from students working with the source, working with the uh, with the, um, Wikipedia, with, with Google, with uh, maybe uh, friends uh, who know something more about uh, English-speaking countries. So in this way, we also foster this uh, critical uh, thinking, in this case, uh, through um, Portal to English course book. Obviously, uh, such, such an activity is easily done on your own outside the course book. Um, and that's, in, that's uh, probably something that you do as well. I, from time to time, um, cut out uh, some information from, from popular uh, newspapers uh, or magazines in English that I, of course, bring um, from my holidays. And then I spread them on the... On a, on, a, on a desk, uh, on, on the tables in, a, in my classroom, and I ask them to compare, contrast, um, find some source of information about these, um, these um, fragments of, of magazines that, I, that I've got. So um, that's uh, another uh, way that we practice critical thinking uh, skills. Uh, in this uh, moment, this is something about exploring similarities and differences, or maybe exploring sources of information. So uh, in this way, we also can do it very quickly. I'll only um, remind you that this is a growing trend in um, ELT, also in Poland, those who teach in public schools probably know that uh, for uh, previous year and also this year, um, Polish teachers may expect some uh, evaluation of how um, critical thinking skills and how key competencies in general are used in, uh, in the classrooms, right? So even if uh, Portal to English uh, is not um, targeted at um, public schools, uh, even if we teach it, uh, teach with it uh, to um, private students, to in, in private language schools, this is worth remembering that those key competencies are something that students very often are aware of, and most of all, um, some their parents are aware of. So um, why, when you meet uh, the parents, you may also uh, inform them that uh, in such a way you practice key competences, preparing them to being a good citizens of 21st uh, century. Okay, um, I prepared for you today um, a 
kind of exploration of, of uh, Portal to English um, course book because I want to show you some of uh, the tasks that are that that are in those in those books, and um, I will ask you what uh, critical thinking uh, skill is practiced by certain activity. So please uh, listen carefully, and either on uh, Facebook or here on um, Click Meeting. Uh, meeting, please write it in the chat or in a, a Facebook comment uh, section. Uh, what you think, which uh, critical thinking is uh, practiced by certain by certain um, tasks? Uh, let's just please confirm if 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 I'm heard well. Can you hear me? Can I have some yes or no? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, are you ready? Are you ready for a little bit of exploration of, of, of the book? Okay, so, I hope. So uh, let's start with the first activity, which I have already told you about. So I'll just simply check if you remember, if you remember, uh, which skill is practiced, which critical thinking skill is practiced is in this activity. Uh, remember, uh, today, for today, I, I have chosen those um, skills which are uh, underlined and which are a bit um, bigger. Uh, there are a lot, there are absolutely a lot of uh, those uh, skills. I have chosen for today, reasoning, exploring similarities and, and differences, questioning, solving dilemmas, sorting facts and opinions, evaluating, exploring sources of information. So those things I want you to look for in the pages. Please take a look. And this is the story that you already know. So could you please remind me what, what skill is being practiced in this activity. I'll just remind you that below there is such a section over to you. What do you think, what kind of skill is practiced uh, by reading the story and answering this question? Any answers? I promise a juicy um, present for those active. If you want to see uh, the Portal to English books, I've got some of them for you. Okay, so um, any ideas? I'll remind you the skills. Is it reasoning? Yes, it is. It's reasoning. Uh, it's also um, probably evaluating, right? Judging, giving opinions as well. Okay. So this. Uh, in this uh, kind of analysis of the story, students practice their reasoning and also uh, they practice their evaluation of the, of the information in the story. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. We've got another story here. This time is the maths puzzle. And the story briefly is about the maths competition, which is uh, about calculating some answers, uh, some some um, sums, some uh, numbers, uh, and by mistake, um, by accident, one of the students who's not 
taking part in it knows the correct answer and is getting the prize. And below, we've got a question. Does Ted deserve the trophy? And um, the assumed answer is no, Ted doesn't deserve it because he didn't um, take part in the uh, competition. He didn't uh, pay attention to that. He didn't um, calculate anything. So he actually well, knew the answer by mistake and he was given a prize, a trophy by mistake. So this is what uh, we suppose that students should say more or less. And if you could please tell me what critical thinking skill is being mentioned here. Which critical thinking skill is practiced? I will, rem I will remind you. We've got reasoning, exploring, questioning, solving dilemmas, sorting facts and opinions, evaluating, experimenting, exploring sources of information. Which skill is being taught? Yes, Mart. Of course, would be opinions based on facts. Good. And Marta? Questioning as well, because uh, we've got a, a we, we, we ask questions about it. Probably also reasoning. Thank you very much, Jana. Thank you very much, uh, Kinga. Um, we also had Marta somewhere. Oh, I thought I, I thought we could also Marta somewhere. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the next um, um, part of the uh, story of the of the book. And this time there will be something something different. Uh, here I will show you. Maybe yeah. Okay, maybe this. Uh, this is the section, um, think it through, um, okay, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll show you this one. Yeah, think it through section from uh, Portal to English uh, 2, and here we've got a text um, about um, basketball. And what we've got to do, we've got to, um, and also we've got um, some something about uh, facts and opinion. And what we've got to do later on, after we, we practice uh, differentiating uh, between facts and opinions, what we've got to do, we've got to sort the information. We've got to uh, read the text about uh, volleyball, sorry, not about basketball, but volleyball, and we need to um, tell which um, pieces of information from the uh, text are facts and which are opinions. Okay, that was easy one. Please tell me which um, critical thinking skills are being practiced here. Very important uh, critical thinking skills. The ones that I will also talk about at um, a Gdańsk conference. Oh, of course, I don't want to um, offend your intelligence. Of course, it's facts and opinions. And it's especially important when we want to fight with uh, fake news. We need to be able... And our students need to be able to um, um, well, see the difference between, between facts and opinions. Um, you don't have to um, 
do it only in the course book. Just take an article, just take a piece of information from the internet. Um, you may display it on OHP uh, in, uh, in your classroom. You may copy it and then ask students to do the same. Underline the facts, cross out the opinions, or maybe put it into the table. Where we've got facts, where we've got opinions. Okay, another activity, critical thinking activity. This time is, oh, it's again, it's again a fact or opinion, but this time uh, from, um, not from part two, but from part, part uh, one, we've got facts and opinions in a very simple language. So you can see that we can talk about facts and opinions even with, with beginners. Uh, lions are cool. Is it a fact or is it an opinion? Rabbits eat carrots. Is it a fact or is it an opinion? Dolphins are fantastic animals. And those skills are quite, quite important. Uh, of course, we can do it very easily for students. It may not be that easy. And after this initial exercise A, uh, students go to point B, where they simply analyze the uh, facts and uh, underline the facts and circle the opinions. That's what I uh, suggested you could do with, with your um, own materials. Okay, uh, uh, the next thing. Uh, this is the think it through activity um, in which you've got uh, information about the restaurant. The chairs are blue, your favorite food is on the menu, you know the waiter, there are lots of people in the restaurant, there's a special meal for teenagers on Saturdays. And now you've got to, yeah, that's the, that's the question to you. What do you've got to do? What students have, have to do? Later on, they've got um, the restaurant, the menu, um, and they need to decide would they need to um, decide where to go what to choose it's a bit uh, similar to matura speaking activity this third one where you've got to uh, choose and justify your opinion what critical thinking skill is uh, practiced here Let's wait a few seconds. Okay. Um, we've got information. We've got the. Uh, we've got uh, uh, some data. So it's uh, analysis, and it's also making decisions right this is also one of the critical thinking uh, uh, activities critical thinking skills okay um, another one another uh, activity this time it's from the CLIL uh, section in the, in the course book You've got some information, and on the other page, you've got actually uh, instructions how to make a perfect um, paper plane. What skills are being practiced here? First, you're given some theory, and later on, you check it by throwing a paper plane. Okay, so probably you uh, know it very well that it's actually um, experimenting 
it's experimenting, but it's also evaluating the information. Uh, probably, this is also about exploring sources of information if students are asked to uh, to go deeper about uh, the aerodynamics. Okay. Okay. Another another uh, activity uh, that we can use um, in, with our students about critical thinking. Let's take a look. That's a very simple one. I'm sure that uh, uh, you use this activity very, very often. A group survey, speak and present. This is about, um, this is from um, a Portal to English number one course book. Very often we use it and talk in groups of three. In here we practice um, countables and countables. How much, how many? Tell me what is being practiced here. Asking questions, questioning, right? Uh, we need to prepare students. Exploring, of course, exploring. Um, also, later on, uh, we will um, be able to um, talk about statistics because we can actually, uh, based on that, create a diagram, a, a, a pie chart, right? In which you will see uh, if we um, ask, let's say, 10 uh, students, if, 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 if we've got a bigger group, uh, we can ask them to um, organize the survey among them. And then they can put this information uh, in a pie chart or maybe in a bar diagram. And in this way, we'll, they will also practice their CLIL um, skills, right? those, uh, those uh, especially mathematics and physics uh, skills. Um, and of course, the very important thing is the structure of, of, of questions. Very important is um, the countables and countables, because in this, uh, in this place, they also practice that. But uh, to my mind, the most important thing is asking questions. They should be asking questions, then they must be and courage to ask questions. That's very, very important. Okay, let's move on to uh, the next thing. And uh, um, this time, okay, we've seen that. Uh, let me uh, see one. Oh, yeah, I've got it. Okay, so here we've got um, this time, this is from. Uh, course book uh, number three um, from the third level we've got CLIL page and this is more advanced this is about home economics um, uh, healthy eating habits uh, it's not only about uh, healthy eating actually but we can expand also to talk about uh, what's polluting um, our um, earth uh, later on, what we don't eat, um, also what gives us the most um, of energy, uh, which is the healthiest, uh, which is the cheapest, which is the, um, the most expensive. And in uh, this uh, type of activity, which skills, which critical thinking skills are being practiced. Okay, I will remind you what skills uh, we are talking about today. Okay, where, oh yeah, I've got it.
Of course, this is exploring sources of information. This is exploring similarities and differences as well, because in a natural way, uh, in such an activity, students will compare what you eat for breakfast and what I eat for breakfast and what we, uh, how much we pay for that uh, and where we buy it and so on and so on. So many, many skills uh, here. Just like in a previous um, CLIL page, we had a project, which is a follow-up for this section, and of course students must have this information how to uh, do the project. So here we've got some project skills from, um, from Portal to English. Step by step, there are some information about what to do, how to organize uh, the content, how to brainstorm the ideas, how to create something, how to proofread as well. Okay, So such things are simply uh, learning how to learn activities. Um, I want to show you one more activity. Think it through. First, think it through activity from the first um, Portal to English course book. And this is about the um, about the um, um, family tree. But then, when you uh, do this uh, activity, you can go um, uh, one uh, step uh, further. Let me simply uh, read you a fragment from uh, the teacher's guide, because in a um, um, teacher's book, you've got a teacher's guide about uh, those think-it-through activities. If you're not sure how to go about it, uh, you can always uh, check it at the back of the teacher's book. Let me just uh, uh, find it. Yes, 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 yes. Just a moment. Okay, it says um, compare your information with other students, for example. Or it also says ask your students how many how many how many generations uh, their uh, family tree show. Okay. Uh, where your family comes from. So these are um, quite deep questions, uh, but again, they inspire students to, to know something more. I remember to this uh, time how I create a family tree for one of the school uh, tasks. Okay. Uh, we are slowly um, closing, but I want to ask you, I want to show you one more thing. This time, is it's Think It Through. We've got a short story, and this is about a um, certain professor, certain um, um, ship, certain uh, mystery. And uh, students need to read it, and uh, later on, they need to, yes. What do you think they need to do? This is something that you can do with every, every text. You give students a text, and then you ask them to make questions. You write down the questions. Uh, the, uh, the who, what, when, where, why, and you make them to you make them um, create the questions. Okay, why? Because it it kind of makes them think about what to ask about. Actually, they first need to know the answers because they read the text, and only later, based on that, they can uh, form the questions, which is actually what we want. We want them to read the text, ask questions, and find the answers. 
and this is what they do in this in this activity okay so that's uh, one of the important things these are the example questions who are the main characters uh, where were they what were they doing what happened what did they do uh, what did they discover in the end so basically these are the things that um, students can ask about okay um, one more thing uh, one more thing and this, this is the last thing for today and this is something that I would very would like to uh, do with my own students which is a time capsule uh, I would love to uh, do this and when I do it I will kind of share it with you uh, with my students not even tweens but um, um, Liceum students uh, we will create a time capsules a time capsule for the school um, we will simply think about what to put in it and we will have to think about um, should there be anything from food or should there be anything connected with free time activities or maybe should there be information about technology there's the question if we put a USB drive uh, there and somebody opens this time capsule like 20 or 30 or 50 years uh, in the future will this USB drive be readable will there be any technology that could read the USB drive what do you think what skills are being practiced in this uh, section think it through think it through section which is generally only about critical thinking I will remind you what skills skills we are talking about this is okay if nobody's going to oh yeah <laughs> thank you very much thanks Kinga okay so I can see that we've got uh, uh, yeah uh, yeah of course you that go on Go on, go on, go on, go on. I think we've got two winners today. Jan and Kinga, uh, later and I will contact you and I will send you uh, the books and the portal to English. Um, you just need to tell me that uh, the address and I will send it um, um, as soon as possible. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, we had so many, so many uh, teachers here and also on Facebook um, I'm so sorry about the, the previous webinar uh, something got wrong we the not, not many people could hear everything I also had to record it uh, uh, once again so I didn't really kind of um, I didn't feel well about, about about this thing but this time I think everything worked fine it was the MM publication Poland's first ever first ever webinar in English and I'm so proud that you took part in it so good for you uh, and the last thing um, my name is Maciej Stanowski uh, and of course please contact me if you uh, need anything about the course books from MM Publications. I also encourage you to uh, get to our YouTube channel, um, which is um, which is gathering all the all the video and all the information that that we uh, produced during the the webinars with Isa. Um, I would also uh, would like to I would also uh, want to uh, want to um, remind you that maybe 
will have a chance to meet in Gdańsk um, at 28th International ITEFU Poland Conference. Uh, this is room 203S on the 21st September uh, at half past five. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll talk about twins. Uh, my son, me myself have a twin uh, daughter, so I'm kind of learning a lot about how twins uh, work, and I'm uh, very willing to share it with you. Um, please tell me, what do you think? Um, should uh, the webinars for teachers of English be carried out in Polish or, or in English? What do you think? Any ideas? Okay, please take a look. Thanks a lot for those uh, answers. Oh yeah, wonderful. So, uh, um, thank you very much for today. Um, I'm just reminding you that it's not only about the book. Uh, I presented uh, you today the, um, the, 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 the critical thinking activities which were based on Portal to English. But you can do uh, the similar ones uh, on your own. Uh, it just requires a bit of, a bit of uh, imagination not really much preparation seriously so thank you very much guys and i'll contact kinga uh, and uh, joanna uh, about the um, prizes that i will send to you these will be portal to english uh, course books okay thank you very much and see you uh, now see you in gdansk but after gdansk and um, I will uh, talk to you about um, about some psychological aspects of teaching twins, because it will be uh, connected. Thanks, Marta. Uh, it will be connected to to the topic that I will cover at um, at uh, ITAFL conference. Thank you very much. It was such a pleasure to have you. Uh, thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. See you guys.